So, you know, oftentimes people go into the forest for a walk and when they see something like this, all of this fern is just like, oh, isn't that beautiful? There's this aroma with all of this fern, but. Yeah, it is, it is pretty. <laughs> you know, it does look colorful in your woods, but it's a huge problem in the woods for a lot of reasons. So, so again, when we're talking about diversity, it's, you know, once this kind of fern, so this is hay scented fern, it is a native species. Um, there's also New York fern, which is a native species, and bracken fern is a third species that will take it over an area, but not quite as badly as New York fern and hay scented fern. So it grows by rhizomes. Uh, as soon as you daylight an area, you will have fern move into those areas and just take over. So why does that hurt our forests? Well, it prevents regeneration because it, at the forest ground, there is no sunlight reaching the ground. So any seeds that are there don't get enough sunlight to start to grow. And if they do grow, then what happens is it, and if the seedling is able to get above the ferns, and it's a species that the deer feed on, then the deer eat it. Um, so that's another problem. And another problem is predators uh, will feed, well, I should say mice, chipmunks, and moles will tend to feed on the seeds of your hardwood trees. But predators of hawks, owls, and foxes can't find those predators because of the cover. So what happens is these little rodents eat the seeds so you don't get regeneration and you don't control the population when you get this kind of cover. Plus another factor is they put out a chemical that prevents natural regeneration. So because of the chemical that's put out by these plants, it doesn't allow the seeds that fall on the ground to regenerate and develop a forest. So you end up with all ferns. So the future forest is ferns. fern. Yeah. <laughs>